Have you previously played King's Quest V? All right, <clears throat> here we go. Back at it again with the all live vans. Wind begins to shiver at the sudden drop in temperature. Graham dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. Graham notices his stomach beginning to rumble with hunger from the exertion of the mountain climb. Eat some food, buddy. Graham finds the leg <clears throat> of the ham a bit tough, but tasty enough. Filling up quickly, he saves the other half for later. We're gonna go climb the rope, baby. Climb the rope. All right. <clears throat> no, stay away from the end. Ah! Oh, oh. Ooh, do be careful, Graham. Was a duty. Let's try that again. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting. Past the rocks. I was like, gonna spell the other pass. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh no! Cedric is getting rolled up. He's getting rolled up. Oh no. Sweet little adventure we're going on. Drat, my sled is broken. Oh no. Here, take this. Perhaps it will help you. He's like, hell yeah, dude, that's some good lunch. You are a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird, especially up here in these snowy mountains. Well, I couldn't just stand there and let you starve to death. What kind of person would I be? 
You have shown yourself to be a kind, compassionate man, and I will not forget what you did for me. Goodbye, dear friend. Heck yeah. I am Queen Isabella, and you have entered my domain now. I command you to kneel before me. Since both you and your friend over there have so thoughtlessly invaded my territory without my permission or knowledge, I have decided you shall both be put to death. Take him away, my pet. Oh no. Warning, this cartoon can- Wait, my pet. Very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite that beautiful before. I think I felt my heart melting. Just a little bit. Just enough, that is, to allow you a chance for your freedom. A vicious yeti has entered the area and taken up residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I have been unable to extricate him from either the cave or my territory. If you can rid me of the yeti, I will release both you and your owl friend. And Heck you yeah. Continue on your journey unhindered. You may rise now. I wish you luck in defeating the Yeti. If you succeed, you will have my undying gratitude. Go with him, Sir Grey Wolf. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. You may go now. Sir Grey Wolf will lead the way. See you later, Cedric. <laughs> I just made like such cool environments, I think, you know. Yonder's the crystal cave. There you will find the Yeti. Wrong. <laughs> crystals flashing and sparkling and reflecting off the numerous waterfalls caused Graham to gaze in awe and wonderment at the dazzling spectacle before him. crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He then carefully places it among his other possessions. Sweet, we got us a, uh, <clears throat> got us a nice little crystal. I see that the Yeti is dead. Queen Isabella will be pleased. Isabella. Come, follow me. <laughs> Warning, this cartoon contains material. 
Here we go. Ah, good. You have returned in victory, I presume. Yes, Your Majesty. The Yeti is dead. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are my friend and I free to go now? Yes. I keep my promises. I want to thank you for ridding my mountain domain of the horrible Yeti. Please rise, King Graham. Yes, I know who you are, and I have been informed of your quest. I do wish you luck against the wizard Mordak. You two may go. We wish you well on your difficult journey. Sir Greywolf will show you the way out of the mountain. Let's get out of here. Shivering with the cold, Cedric looks more than ready to leave these frozen reaches behind. Uh, what? Ooh, if you're going back to the dreaded Yeti cave, I'll wait. Good thing we saved. Splat. I do feel like that's half of like my King's Quest like deaths. Is like Oh, they're let they're they're giving you a chance to come back in here and get um get a crystal like if you didn't get one earlier, so you know let's see if we can The savage gray wolf stubbornly blocks Graham's passage back. Say what? The brilliant crystal shard feels smooth in Graham's hands. A cobbler would normally use this. The amulet glows softly with a power. It is an ordinary. Graham's duty's done. You're just gonna die. Or, yeah, you're just gonna die if you walk that way. Hmm. The savage gray wolf stubbornly blocked. What's up, man? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, what are you doing, man? I, I got my uh, PS4 ready to stream, but then I needed it to, like, do some updates and stuff, and I decided I would just finish up King's Quest. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out like where to go here, but I obviously I figured out the next screen. Uh The Last of Us Part Two. I'm like only like a third of the way or like halfway through it or something, so um, I wanna finish playing that before I play another game um, on stream. 
Oh. Oh, that's a pretty sweet picture right there, though. Dude, I, I'm in the mood, though, to, like, get drunk and eat a pizza and just sit here and, like, play PS4 the rest of the night, though. Okay, uh... Graham can see a glittering gold locket lying among the leaves and sticks of the rock's nest. Graham rescues a lovely golden locket from the leafy clutches of the rock's nest. Ah, uh, nice birdie. Good birdie. <laughs> yeah, it would be a good time. Hang on, I'll get you out of this. Oh yeah, I got rescued. Oh, but they, they ate my cloak? Oh, I'm down on the beach now. Thanks, bro. What are you gonna play, some Tarkov? Oh, Graham, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. You'd never believe it, Cedric. You'd never believe it. <laughs> I was gone for like Graham two minutes. Graham noticed the iron bar lying on the sand near the bottom of the windy path. Albion, yeah. I kind of remember this. Who are you? And what are you doing on my beach? I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island. But I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey! What's that you say? <laughs> What's that you say? Can we go in his house? Graham comes on the door, but he finds it bolted from the inside. He can, however, hear activity within. A makeshift house, fashioned from the bow of a wrecked ship, occupies the south end of a small, narrow beach. The boat sinks uh, if you just get in it. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Watch out, there's a hole in the boat. Help, help. Come on. Come on. Thanks for playing, King. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, beeswax. I think this is beeswax. Firmly, Graham wedges the softened piece of beeswax into the small hole in the boat's hull. Hopefully, the wax will hold and make her seaworthy. I mean, we know this wouldn't work in real life, right? Some beeswax, just like, smash it in with your hand. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. I am... Sweet frickin' island, bruh.
what? Heck yeah. That shell, baby. Graham bends over and picks up the beautifully colored shell. Cedric is hurting. by the harpies wounded by the harpies did you say we'll bring him on into the house I'll fix him right up good as new lay him on the bed there these poultices should fix the little fella up good as new My employer would be very interested in them. Hey, what was that? I said, what was in those poultices? My employer would be interested in them. Gifts from the sea, lad. Gifts from the sea. Ain't nothing special. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think he'd find them particularly interesting. Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it's too late. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordax. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. I tried to talk you out of going there, except I can see you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordax Island. It's a real emergency. Mordax holding his family hostage. Pearl can't speak human talk, but she's agreed to help you. 
Just get on into your boat and follow her. Cedric and I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Uh... Don't worry about who I am. You just get on over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. We're off. Come on, Cedric. Cedric, what are you waiting for? Dang, look at that lava falling from the top of it because there's volcanoes. Looks awesome. Yourself, Cedric. That is such a cool island. Help me, I'm <clears throat> Are you all right, Cedric? Well, let me see. Oh, I'm fine, Grim. Just a bit ruffled is all. Ugh, a dead fish. Well, maybe I can use it. <sighs> Let's get rolling. Got him. Yeah, you walk forward, those uh, serpents mess you up pretty bad. No bueno. Well, let's... Did I play full throttle on, st on stream? Yeah, I think I did. It was like one of the first games I think I did. Come on, Cedric. Figure this out. Cedric gives up so easy, man. Place this with in the lab.
All right, I need to start mapping this out now in my head. <laughs> I just really just spin myself around. I think I did. Wow, this is pretty. Oh, wow. This doesn't actually appear to be very uh, random. It's pretty wild that like I ran right into the black beast like right away, but like I'm it's taking me a while to find this damn door. I don't know why, but I'm reminded of uh, the video game Body Count. Do you remember that like first person shooter game? Eldoro. There's a door here. Perhaps it will lead into the castle. Graham tries to open the wooden door, but to no avail, as it's securely locked. Sure is a good thing we got a hairpin. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers, to his amazement, that it fits perfectly. Turning it ever so gently, uh, he soon hears excuse, the excuse. and the door is unlocked. A closed cupboard in the inside the cup, reaching into the open. What's up, girl? A lovely young girl with long black hair. Olive skin and flashing green eyes laboriously scrubs the cold stone floor. Though wearing rags, her beauty nevertheless shines through. Don't come near me! Leave me alone! I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. I don't believe you! You're probably one of them! I'm not. Believe me. Just go away! Please! I don't want to talk to you anymore! The amulet glows softly with a power of its own. Take that away from me! I don't want it! Wherever did you find my gold locket? I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. But tell me, who are you and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Kasima from the Kingdom of the Green Isle. My father, the king, employs a horrible wazir who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Naturally, I refused, and my father agreed with me. But our refusal angered him so much that he stole me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go, so 
that a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. I... I'm King Graham of Daventry. King Graham. I think I know where that is. It's very far from my home, though. Don't worry. Somehow, I'll get you home again. But first, I've got to save my family. Yes, well, I'll stand by you, King Graham. I'll help if I can. Thanks. I may need it. Well, I'd better get back to work. And you should keep out of sight. Aye, aye, m'lady. M'lady. Cringe. All right, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here. We're going to go... There's not a locket in my pocket. <laughs> all right. Pretty sweet little room. Fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. <gasps> uh, sweet! Random blue beast. Okay. Graham can see a small, moldy piece of cheese just inside the mouse hole. I got a mouse hole for you. There, got it. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. Graham finds himself in a dirty, dingy cell somewhere below Mordak's castle. What's up, girl? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Friends? Yes, like Sink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this blue stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. All right, let's get out of here then. Labyrinth again. That doesn't look right. How do you spell labyrinth? Maybe it just doesn't look right because of what's going on there.
<laughs> A large beast lies stunned on the floor. Yeah, we out of here. Gotcha, bitch. Graham's curiosity. Hmm, this looks interesting. Uh, uh. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. Since most of Mordak's books and scrolls are beyond Graham's comp since most Perhaps if we go back through here. It wouldn't be wise for Graham to carry the cat around. Oh, okay. Since most of more Supposed to wait here for him to go to bed. Since most, since most. None of these.
green mold covers the small piece of cheese. The old wand does the hairpin is the brilliant the pouch is empty. books and scrolls since most of more the strange the strange sim numerous numerous The strange, the strange, the strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory, and there is no need to. There we go, Jeebus. Holy moly. This we go finally. Mordak's wand lies temptingly upon the small table near his bed. I think we'll take that. Puts the cheese on the machine. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Four 
Upper Deck wand now barely glows. Perhaps its power has weakened while Crispin's old wand now appears completely energized. The bizarre machine looks very intimidating and confusing, which makes Graham reluctant to touch it. Conversely, though, it also intrigues him. Here we go, boys. I do remember this. What's going on here? I'll take care of you, you swine. Damn it. I looked at the dang book wrong. All right, let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. We lost five minutes of our lives. Sorry, this is a pretty sweet room to spend some time in anyway, so... There we are. There we are. It's a moldy cheese. It's a moldy cheese. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Oh my god! Fucking really? What happened? Oh, did I wait too long to... What happened there?
All right, let's try this again. What I was trying to do was I was... Oh, save this to a playlist. There we go. That's all I was really trying to do. Okay, so we do that, and then we do this. And then, uh, do the cheese. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Let's do it. Tiger. Deuces. Warning, this cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. I mean, well, if the game is over, why would it ask us that? Now, why won't you work? Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. 
He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But now I have a bigger problem. I don't know what to do about my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, there must be a way. Crispin! I have the solution to all your problems, Graham. While you and Cedric were gone, I did some asking around, and I found out that your son, Alexander, had the dubious distinction, if you may, of turning Mordak's brother, Mananan, into a cat some time back. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be undone by the actual perpetrator, your son. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge to try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. I did some research and found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Now Sweet! Back to normal, baby. Hocus, hocus, alley-hocus. Alexander, Rosella, Queen Valenice. Valenice, my children, my joy knows no limit. I was pronouncing it right. Father, I'm so glad you're here. Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. Let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Queen Valenice, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. All of you, this is Princess Cosima from the land of the Green Isle. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. My lady, I am deeply in your debt, and I will make it up to you. With your permission, I'd like to travel to the land of the Green Isles to see you. All right, now that we've done with all the formalities, let's get on with business, shall we? Piggledy! Piggledy! Poo! Be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs. And the right size, too. But now it's time that everyone return to their home. With my help, of course. Alakazam! Alakazoo! Alaka! Wait! What about Cedric? Where is Cedric? Over there. Mordak may have killed him. Is there anything you can do about it? Oh. Hmm. Let me think. That's actually where we're going in the next I game. I don't know. Abra? Abra Kabara? No. Uh, Abra Kadora? Hmm. Now, what is that confounded word? Oh, yes! Abra! Cadabra! Oh, Crispin! Cedric, it sure is good to see you again. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. All right, enough is enough. Let's get on with it. Okay, Cosima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isle? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Goodbye, Alexander. Perhaps we'll meet again. You can be sure of that, milady. lady. 
Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. And you too, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here with my family without you two. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work. Right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, back home you go. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazee. Well, there she is, our happy home, and we're all safe and sound once more. Let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. That's it. King's Quest Five. I think King's Quest Six, the next one, is where we go to the the land of Green Isles. Um. I was trying to look up. So if we do like space quest, so if we look up space quest, we have what we have four, five. Yeah, we have one, two, three, and four. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five on Space Quest. So it would be like... Quest is uh, six. The next King's Quest is six. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was using a walkthrough, so I didn't get stuck. But yeah, it's only like two, two to three hours. I was kind of just going through and seeing what games uh, I had already had uh, played. So, Quest for Glory 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, and 3. So, the next Quest for Glory is 4. Um, so, Police Quest 1. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. So four is the next police quest, which I don't know that we're gonna do. Leisure Suit Larry. We gotta see what the next Leisure Suit Larry is. So we've done three. And we did reloaded. So Leisure Suit Larry 4, which is kind of a ha-ha because I don't think Leisure Suit Larry 4 actually exists.
Yeah, so we won't be doing Leisure Suit Larry 4. Logitech gaming software is messed up on this computer, that's for sure. Oh, Roberta Williams did a lot of the different voices here. Okay, so we do have the Colonel's Bequest, the Colonel's Bequest, and then we have the Dagger of Amon-Ra. We want to play those games. Um, uh, Phantasmagoria. I've always wanted to play Phantasmagoria games. We have King's Quest, Space Quest, uh, Leisure Suit Larry already on there. Mixed Up Mother Goose. Mixed Up Mother Goose. Maybe we'll play that, because I do remember that from my childhood as well, and that was pretty sweet. Uh, Quest for Glory, yep. Uh, Gabriel Knight. Um, Torin's Passage. Oh, yeah. Tor Torin's... Torin's Passage, I think, would be pretty sweet. Um...
So we have uh, then we have Freddie Farkas. So I mean, we still have like a good ten games to play of the Sierra old Sierra ones. Um, Yeah, they kept going with that damn King's Quest, man. Um, Bizarre Adventures of Woodruff and the... I have no idea what that is. Phantasmagoria, Police Quest. It's a really weird jump they just did right there. Oh yeah, Dr. Brain. Dr. Brain would be pretty sweet to show people. of the realm. I don't know. That's pretty well good enough. I think we have... Website that has all the has all the info on it. Yeah, Pepper's Adventures in Time. I th I feel like I did that. Conquest of Camelot and Conquest of the Longbow. Gabriel Knight. There's three of them. King's Quest. Yep. Uh, Laura Bow. Yep. All the Leisure Suit Larry movies, or games. Oh, wow, Soft Porn Adventure was really considered the first Leisure Suit Larry. That's pretty interesting. We have Mixed Up Mother Goose and Mixed Up Fairy Tales. That's interesting. Phantasmagoria, a couple of them. Police Quest. Police Quest Open Season. Oh, that's four. And uh, Quest for Glory, there's actually, I've never played 4 and 5, but what's funny is that my favorite video game in the whole, all of Sierra is is Quest for Glory 3. Shivers, I don't really care that much about. Eco Quest, I'm pretty sure I played 1 and 2 on stream already. And then Space Quest. Ugh. Yeah. Well, that's all I'm going to stream, I think. Uh, for now, I'm going to decide what else I want to do now that I beat that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to jump on the PS4, maybe stream some of that. Um, or do something else with my night. I don't know. It's still pretty early. I've got a, kind of a goofy headache, but I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to head on out. And uh, I will pick up the streaming tomorrow. I uh, started streaming. Uh, started streaming Escape from Tarkov and playing that. Actually, I don't know that we streamed it, but we started playing it, my brother and I. So, 
Anyways, I'm gonna head on out. I might be right back. I might not. I don't know yet. We'll see ya. Thanks for swinging by. King's Quest 5 out. Do you really want...